Hey, I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different than usual. For once, we will not be discussing the Scream franchise. I just wanted to share some upcoming horror movies with you guys. I have a list of eight new movies for you. Before we get started, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. Let's get into it. So I'm going to be going in chronological order of the release dates for each of these horror movies. The first movie we have is called Talk To Me. It comes out very soon on July 28th. It's a seance movie. It's about teens doing a seance at a party. I believe this one was released on YouTube already within the past few months and did so well that A24 picked up the film for distribution. Some people are comparing it to The Evil Dead, and it's supposed to be over the top with its possession scenes. So if you're into possession movies, you should definitely check this one out. Next up, we have a movie called Sympathy for the Devil. It also comes out July 28th. This one is more of a psychological thriller. It stars Nicolas Cage, who in my opinion is actually a pretty underrated actor. I know People make fun of him a lot, but he's always really good in everything that he's in. The synopsis for this movie is, after being forced to drive a mysterious passenger at gunpoint, a man finds himself in a high stakes game of cat and mouse, where it becomes clear that not everything is as it seems. So if you're more into psychological thrillers, you should definitely check this one out. The next movie is called The Mistress, which also comes out July 28th. This weekend is very busy. This one is a supernatural movie and the synopsis is newlyweds move into their new home and unleash a spirit after discovering old letters from a woman who lived there over a hundred years ago. This one actually sounds pretty good to me and I might be giving this one a watch. Movie number four is called The Last Voyage of the Demeter. It comes out August 11th. And this movie is actually based on a single chapter from Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I think is pretty cool. I had to read Dracula in high school and I actually really enjoyed it. It's a very dense book, so I actually think it's pretty cool that they can get an entire movie out of a single chapter from the book. The trailer looked really good and it definitely looks like it could be a little scary. And this movie has Liam Cunningham, who was in Game of Thrones. He played Sir Davos, and I really liked his character. The fifth movie is called A Haunting in Venice. It comes out September 15th. It's based on a 1969 novel by Agatha Christie called Halloween Party. The plot of this movie is people attend a seance and someone is murdered. And there's a detective who's trying to figure out who did it. If you're familiar with Agatha Christie's novels, she's a really good murder mystery writer. And the trailer for this actually looks pretty good and I'm definitely going to check this one out. This movie stars Tina Fey and Jamie Dornan and a few other people. Number six on this list of movies is the 10th installment of the Saw franchise. This one comes out September 29th. It was originally supposed to come out October 27th, but they bumped it up a little bit. This movie is supposed to be set between the events of the first movie and the second movie. And there will be some old characters returning like John Kramer, Jigsaw himself, and Amanda Young. I know a lot of people are excited for this one. Next up on this list we have The Exorcist Believer. This one comes out October 13th, which does happen to be Friday the 13th. I always love when Friday the 13th falls in October crime spooky season. This new Exorcist movie is set in the same continuity as the original film and this is set to be a trilogy. The trailer looked pretty promising. And last but not least, eighth on this list, we have Five Nights at Freddy's. This one comes out October 27th. As I'm sure all of you know, this one is based on a popular video game. And the movie will be starring the iconic Matthew Lillard, who of course plays Stu Mocker. And it also has Josh Hutcherson and the actress who played Beck in the show, You. 
Although I am not familiar with the video game, I am very excited for this movie because I love Matthew Lillard and I think that this is going to be so good for his career and for him making a comeback in Hollywood. He has said himself that he thinks that this is going to be the biggest thing to happen to his career since Scream. And for us Stu believers who want him to return in Scream 7, I think that him being in this movie can only benefit us because it'll put him back on the map and he will be in high demand. And I think the creators will be very excited to get him back to the Scream franchise. That's it for today. Those are eight new horror movies that will be coming out very soon. Leave a comment down below and let me know which ones you're most excited for. Will you be seeing any of them in theaters? Will you be passing on any of these? Will you maybe just be waiting till they come out on streaming? Let me know, I always love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. You can also follow me on TikTok where I do post daily multiple times a day and I'll see you in the next video.